Circle challenge number four is different than our previous problems because now we need to draw in some of the lines we're going to be using ourselves. We have to draw in those lines. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect point D all the way down to point F. I'm going to draw in a diameter. Now you see we've split the circle in half, right? We have uh, half of the circle on the left and half the circle on the right. That's going to simplify our calculations a little bit. Um, we know that half a circle always has 180 degrees. So we can say 58 plus X is going to be 180. That's the first thing we're going to solve. Okay. Now... We solve for x the same way we solve any single variable equation. In this case, we subtract 58 from both sides. We end up with x equals 122. So this is 122 degrees. Now we do the same thing with the right side of the circle. Right? We have 51. We'll call it y our variable this time. 51 plus y. equals 180. Now we subtract 51 from both sides. We get y equals 129. Okay, so y is 129, x is 122. We want to find the angle EFB. So we actually want to find this large angle down here. This is the angle we're looking for. We've split EFB down the middle, right, in half. Um, and we can use the properties of inscribed angles, right? Remember, if you're unsure which arc corresponds, corresponds with your angle, you just extend both rays of the angle itself, right? So if we're looking at angle EFD, we're talking about this small angle, right? If we extend this ray out here, we extend the other ray up this way. The arc that is in between those two lines is the arc that corresponds with our angle. And an angle, an inscribed angle, is always half the measure of the arc that it intersects. So we take 129 and we divide it by 2. Equals 64.5. That's our inscribed angle down here. Now let's worry about the inscribed angle on the left side of uh, of this um, on the left side of EFB, right? Specifically, angle BFD. Okay. So the next step here, our arc is 122 degrees, right? The angle that corresponds with that, the inscribed angle is going to be half of that. So we take 122, we divide it by 2, and we get 61. So end up with 61. Now the angle we're looking for, we're looking for angle EFB. EFB, we're looking at these two angles together. What's 61 plus 64.5? Well, let's write it out. 61 plus 64.5 equals 125.5. That is our answer. First, we drew a diameter, right? We split our circle in half right down the center. And we know that half of a circle always has 180 degrees. So 58 plus 122 is 180. 129 plus 51 is 180. Then we use the fact that an inscribed angle is always half the measure of the arc that it intersects. Here our arc was 122. So the inscribed angle that goes with it is half of that, right? Half of 122 is 61. Similarly, on the right side of the circle, our arc is 129 degrees. 
half of 129 is 64.5. We're looking for the entire angle, not each separately. So we, our total ends up being 61 plus 64.5, and we get 125.5. Okay, so now we're working on circle challenge number five. And just like in circle challenge number four, we need to draw in some lines that allow us to complete the problem. We've been working with central angles and inscribed angles, so we're gonna connect the center of the circle, point C, to point I, H, G, and L. Okay, and now that that's done, we see that we do have some inscribed angles that we can use here. Um, our inscribed angle I corresponds with the arc that's on the other side of the circle. So our arc is 64 degrees. An inscribed angle is always half the measure of the arc that it intersects. So if this is 64, that means our angle is going to be 32. Half of 64 is 32. And then we're looking at our other inscribed angle over here, angle L, now corresponds with this arc over here. Our arc is 60 degrees. Our angle is half of that, half of 60 is 30. And now you see that we actually have a triangle here that we can work with, right? If we connect these two with this line and they connect up here with the angle that we're looking for, we're looking for angle IKL. So we're looking at this angle right here and this angle plus our other two angles total 180 degrees. That's because uh, the total number of degrees in any triangle is 180. So we have 30 plus 32 plus X equals 180. Now we solve this the same way we would solve any one single variable equation. First we combine like terms, 30 plus 32 is 62. Then to get x by itself, we subtract 62 from both sides, and we end up with x equals 118 degrees. That's the answer we're looking for. Anger, angle IKL, this angle right here, is 118 degrees. So we can write that in here at the bottom, 118.